Number 8. Happy and Christy Wade In April 2021, Happy and Christy Wade's home security camera recorded an unexpected encounter with a wild bobcat in Burgle, North Carolina. The video showed a man walking out onto his driveway, enjoying his cup of coffee. As the man walked toward the back of his vehicle, his wife followed behind him but suddenly stopped in her tracks when she heard a loud yowl. Before either could react, a bobcat leapt toward the woman, attacking her viciously. She panicked and began running between the two cars parked in the driveway. As the animal clung to her back, Happy, her husband, stepped forward and grabbed the wildcat, managing to get it off his wife. The bobcat then kept trying to attack him, but he safely kept it away from his body with his arms stretched out. Not knowing what to do next, he walked away from the cars onto the front lawn and hurled the screeching animal in the air as far as he could throw it. A neighbor, alerted by the screams, approached the house at full speed, trying to run after the bobcat. He threatened to shoot it and warned the couple to keep their distance, but the animal managed to get away. The couple were treated for their scratches and had to get over 30 rabies shots each as a preventive measure. Number 7. Stephanie Blaise while spending some time with her family at their Canadian cabin in August 2020, Stephanie Blaise, 44, stepped outside to make a call to her father. Using her satellite phone, she instructed her young son, Eli, to fetch an antenna inside the house as she told her father about some problems with the water line. That was the last time he would hear his daughter speak. As Eli watched helplessly from inside the house, a black bear approached Blaze from behind and attacked before she could react. Hearing the commotion over the phone, her father stayed on the line for several minutes before hanging up and calling again. He was concerned about the disturbing sounds on the other end of the line but reminded himself, bear attacks are one in a million. Blaze's husband, Curtis, ran outside, shooting at the bear to get it off his wife's mauled body. He attempted to give Blaze CPR but by the time he got to her, she was already unresponsive. The attack was described as unprovoked by a conservation officer who denied the animal acted out of hunger. An examination of the animal's remains showed its stomach was full of berries. A GoFundMe campaign was launched to help raise money for Blaze's family in the aftermath of the attack. Number 6. April Rogers Wheelchair-bound New Hampshire resident April Rogers, 71, found herself trapped with a beer in her kitchen on the morning of July the 17th, 2018 after the wild animal had walked through a screen door that hadn't been properly latched. At first, the bear just sat close to her, and although Rogers tried to remain calm, she got the sense the wild animal was getting more and more stressed, watching it rock its head left and right. Trying to slowly get away, she unwittingly blocked the only exit, prompting the animal to lash out in fear, lacerating Rogers' head and neck. The elderly woman suffered from a fractured neck, as well as deep cuts and the loss of her left eye. Months after the attack took place, Rogers agreed to an interview with a local journalist, stating that although the experience had been jarring, she was determined to see the bright side of life. I am not going to let anything get me down. You know, it's not worth it, Rogers explained. Number 5. Diana Bobba On September 10, 2018, two weeks after being reported missing, 55-year-old Diana Bobba's body was discovered off a trail in Portland's Mount Hood, National Forest. Bobber, a Gresham, Oregon resident, was described as an avid hiker, so her family was used to her frequent trekking trips. However, after Bobber failed to call or text back for several days, they grew concerned and contacted the authorities, who then launched a search party. During the two-week period she remained missing, her car, a black Mazda Miata, was discovered near a ranger station and a backpack, believed to have been Bobber's, was recovered by two hikers on August 30th, 2018. When her body was finally found by the search party, medical examiners quickly determined her wounds to be consistent with a suspected cougar attack. There was also evidence that Bobber had attempted to defend herself from the mauling by using a sharp object. Authorities explained that although there are estimated to be over 6,000 cougars in Oregon, this was the first recorded attack in the state's history. After the discovery of the mauled body Allison Bobber, the victim's sister stated, there's a peace knowing she lived her life her way, and she loved being in the outdoors. Number 4. S. J. Brooks On August 19, 2018, friends S. J. Brooks, 32, and Isaac Sederbaum, 
31 encountered a starving cougar while riding their bikes on a remote trail outside of Seattle, Washington. The two men attempted to scare the animal away, banging their bicycle wheels against the ground and making as much noise as possible. Though their plans seemed to work at first, the cougar launched at them soon after, apparently motivated by hunger. The cougar attacked Cedarbaum first, managing to bite at his head. When Brooks attempted to run away though, the predator let go of its victim's head and chased after him instead. Although seriously injured, Cedarbaum managed to get on his bike and ride for over two miles until he reached an area with enough signal to call 911. Police arrived at the scene and rushed Cedarbaum to the hospital, while also immediately launching a search for Brooks. Officers located the discarded bike, but its owner was nowhere to be seen. Brooks's body would be found later that day, dragged away from the initial scene by the cougar. Officers fired at the predator as it stood over Brooks. It managed to escape at first, but eventually was hunted down with the help of tracking dogs. Its remains were taken back to Seattle in order to determine whether the wild animal had been sick when the attack took place. Number 3. Mara Jo Thomas Kentucky resident Mara Jo Thomas feared for the worst as she rushed to the hospital in July 2022 after being attacked by a three-foot snake. Just after arriving at her front porch, the reptile had been coiled around a decoration the family had hung from the door, hidden from view so Thomas didn't see it. Until the animal leapt forward, she felt a sharp pain on her face, suffering small puncture wounds on her forehead and eyebrow. Thomas had been outside the house with her daughter, who managed to step away after the attack and both immediately rushed to the hospital, worried the snake might be venomous. Fortunately, hospital staff assured Thomas the wound wasn't serious. Sergeant Daniel Richardson from Kentucky Fish and Wildlife explained it's highly unlikely to be attacked by a venomous snake in the area. Thomas uploaded her story online, warning people to remove their door decorations. She also added that her husband had managed to scare the reptile away, but she'd still be careful when walking outside. Her story was shared over 52,000 times and got 10,000 comments, with some users suggesting the animal might have been a chicken snake or a yellow rat snake. Today's topic was requested by Michael Barnstein and Kai Morega. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Francia James While visiting a Myrtle Beach safari in South Carolina during the 2019 photo shoot, 31-year-old Instagram and Playboy model Francia James decided to record her interaction with one of the park's elephants. The influencer could be seen wearing a tight-fitting bikini as she tried to cozy up to the female elephant, smiling and posing for the camera. However, the animal didn't hold still, instead moving its trunk over the woman's breasts. James jumped away as the elephant's trunk pulled at her bikini top, coming close to ripping it off, and laughed as she adjusted her outfit. James later uploaded the video to her Instagram account, assuring her fans she had been surprised by the animal's reaction, stating, the trunk felt just like a large man's hand with a high-powered vacuum attached. After some wardrobe adjustments, James managed to get a photo with the female elephant as well as other animals at the park. Some of her followers accused the Instagram model of having planned the whole incident by applying a scent that would catch the animal's attention with one user commenting, I don't understand why you have to film animals to promote your body. James's fans, though, were delighted by the elephant's antics. This wasn't the last time James uploaded a video of an animal paying close attention to her body. While visiting a zoo in Webster, Florida, she got to carry a lemur on her shoulders. The small mammal began attempting to slip its arms down her cleavage, grabbing at her bra, as James laughed and asked what she should do about it. Number 1. Cassandra Klein On August 20, 2018, 45-year-old kindergarten teacher Cassandra Klein was walking her dog next to a golf course lagoon near her vacation home at a private resort in South Carolina's coastal region when she noticed an alligator emerging from the water targeting her dog. Klein was attempting to protect her pet when the eight-foot predator managed to instead close its jaws around her, dragging her into the lake. An employee working on the 13th hole heard her screams and witnessed Klein struggling against the alligator, water up to her knees. He rushed to call 911, standing on the 
opposite side of the lagoon, asking the dispatcher if he should try to jump in the water to rescue the woman. He could only watch as the alligator continued to drag Klein underwater. By the time the police arrived at the golf course, Klein had become unresponsive and had suffered severe lacerations to her arms and hands. She was declared dead at the scene. After an examination, the coroner determined the cause of death to be drowning. Klein's husband sued the resort in 2019 for wild negligence, stating that the company was aware of the danger alligators posed for tourists and failed to implement adequate security measures. Thanks for watching. Would you rather try to fight off an alligator attack in a pond or be dumped in the open ocean with only an alligator floaty to keep you afloat? Let us know in the comments section below.